Welcome to Reddit Tell All. Today we have a story about a crazy mother-in-law and the heroes in the wedding party that come to save the day and make sure the bride had an amazing wedding day. As always, leave all your comments down below and let's just get straight on with today's story mother-in-law attempted to get her revenge flirt on during my wedding. To be clear, my wedding was 100% for my mother. She was terminally ill with Parkinson's decades before that's supposed to happen to someone. I was in my late 20s and facing the reality that my mum wouldn't get the retirement, grandchildren and golden years she immigrated to this country to one day have. She also spent a big chunk of her career helping very rich people throw very extravagant weddings. So when my husband proposed, we both agreed that my mum could have whatever the hell she wanted for my wedding. I got to see my mum incredibly, incandescently happy. She glowed at that wedding. There are two major events of the wedding that my mother-in-law really outdid herself for. My dress fitting and the wedding itself. Dress fitting. I did not want my mother-in-law anywhere near me when I picked out my wedding dress, but I did allow her to come to a dress fitting. I told her we could shop for my shoes together. I also figured that I could use the opportunity to help her pick a mother of the groom dress. She literally couldn't have cared less about seeing me in my dress and said so once we got to the shop. Apparently, my dress was too modest and boring. Instead, she insisted on me following her around as she picked wedding dresses to try on. Yes, wedding dresses. With the help of a saleswoman, we were able to talk her into trying on some bridesmaid dresses instead. She would sob out this horrible sound anytime we suggested she look at dresses meant for the mothers of the couple. After trying a few dresses that looked very nice on her, she finally snapped and began to talk down to the saleswoman, asking why she kept telling her to try on dowdy dresses. When I asked mother-in-law what she wanted in a dress, she announced, I want to make a father-in-law regret divorcing me when I walk down the aisle. I want him to drool. Father-in-law and mother-in-law have been divorced for over 20 years at this point. Father-in-law is very happily married to stepmother-in-law, who is an amazingly lovely woman who delights in being grandma to our foster children. My jaw hit the damn floor. After a lot of lying and cringing, I managed to talk her into a slate grey dress with a deep V neckline. It was 100% better than the other mini dresses and wedding gowns she was trying on. I never got my fit in and had to schedule another one. The wedding. So our wedding allowed for a plus one. We assumed that mother-in-law would bring her husband with her, but we were wrong. The night before the wedding, I get a call from my husband in a panic about two things. One, at his bachelor party that night, his brother picked up a girl and was in love. We were in a tourist destination. She was an escort. My husband realized it right away, but his brother did not. Thankfully, one of the groomsmen ended up taking him aside and talking him through it. Two, his mother's plus one was her on again, off again best friend. Allegedly godmother to husband. She's not. And they just arrived at the hotel. Best friend claims she is the woman father-in-law had cheated on mother-in-law with and to who father-in-law gave an STD to 20 years ago. Father-in-law was a literally hiding from the two of them while chain smoking joints. Three, mother-in-law told husband right before his bachelor party that father-in-law might not be his biological father 
and she couldn't think of a better time to tell him. Thankfully, husband did not buy this at all. I just sat there on the floor of the hotel room with my bridesmaids in shock. That's when the heroes of this story took over. I am extremely lucky to have three women I can depend on for anything. My maid of honor, best friend since high school, my photographer, best friend since college, and my big sister. They announced then and there that I wouldn't be dealing with mother-in-law the next day. And I didn't. In fact, almost everything mother-in-law did at the wedding, I learned about the day after the event because those three kept such a tight leash on her. So here's what she pulled at the wedding. One, mother-in-law arrived at the wedding in a dress that was not the dress we'd gotten at the shop. It was an incredibly inappropriate dress. The sort you'd see at a club in Miami and not at a wedding at a resort. The photographer convinced her to put on the grey dress because it matched husband's suit and it would be more family. Two, mother-in-law used to be a baker and so insisted that the cake had to be taken out of the fridge early and set out for the guests to see as they passed the reception hall on the way to the ceremony. The cake was book themed, the whole wedding was book themed and the small edible books that decorated it began to fall off. The maid of honor took the cake back to the kitchen and was able to fix it all so no one could tell. Three, mother-in-law insisted at the last minute that she had to have a mother-son dance. My husband did not want to do this as being on display during the ceremony and our first dance was already giving him a large amount of anxiety. My sister convinced the DJ to announce one minute into the song, all other parents and children, please join us on the dance floor. We got some really cute pictures of the littles in our families dancing with their parents. Father-in-law also came onto the dance floor and asked to cut in. Mother-in-law was thrilled thinking father-in-law wanted to dance with her. Father-in-law danced with my husband. It was adorable. Mother-in-law stopped flirting with father-in-law at that point. Four, mother-in-law would periodically start crying very loudly about losing her baby boy during big moments like the cake cutting. The photographer would go over and start taking pictures of her. Mother-in-law can't stand not looking her best, so she'd cut it out and start posing. Five, she told the best man, her eldest son, to give me a lap dance for fun. I was mortified and almost cried when it happened. My family was horrified. Six, my husband and I were both born into interreligious households, but both ended up being closer to our Jewish heritage. No one in our families has had a Jewish wedding since World War II, so we decided it was important to go through all the steps of a Jewish wedding. Mother-in-law is Christian and fully believes that Christians are repressed minorities. When we were signing the Ketubah marriage certificate, we asked our Jewish parent to sign it with us as our witness. Mother-in-law began to sob when she wasn't asked to sign, despite knowing ahead of time she wouldn't be. She claimed we were erasing her from our story. She then claimed it was cruel to make my mum sign it when she can't even hold a pen. Because of my mum's shaking, she said this in front of my mum. My maid of honor managed to get her out of the room before I walked in with my husband. Seven, she heavily criticized our chupa. Since both of our families lost pretty much all Jewish heirlooms during World War II, I handmade a quilt to be our chupa as an item that could be passed down through generations. I stitched our wedding date on it and I'll be stitching the adoption date of our foster kid on it soon. Apparently that's tacky. Okay, mother-in-law. Eight. 
She spent the majority of the party glaring at my father-in-law and talking only to her best friend. Many of my family members tried to interact with her and get to know her, but she would rudely tell them she was in the middle of a conversation. She also yelled at the littles at our wedding for running and playing. Our wedding was very kid-friendly. They were 100% allowed to run and play. We even had toys for them. 9. When it was time for speeches, we had a very specific list of people allowed to make speeches. She was not one of them. I did get to see this moment and it will always be the moment I knew my maid of honour is a badass. Mother-in-law decided that she would be making a speech and tried to get the microphone from father-in-law. Maid of honour stood from her table, downed an entire flute of champagne in one go while walking to the DJ booth, grabbed the microphone's cord and yanked it. No speech for mother-in-law. 10. Mother-in-law lost my veil after trying it on. I'd taken it off during the meal to make sure it didn't get any stains as it was handmade lace by one of the bridesmaids. My sister guessed pretty easily who took the veil and found her trying it on and swanning in the bathroom. She offered to help adjust it and instead grabbed it and just walked it back to my hotel room. 11. Mother-in-law insisted on adding a lot of little ochkas to the table decorations. Things we'd never seen or approved. The photographer snapped a picture of a pre-mother-in-law table and as soon as mother-in-law was out of the room, set every table back to how I'd set it up. So there you go. My wedding was saved by three very determined women who would not allow mother-in-law to have her way. Mother-in-law spent the wedding fuming while father-in-law did slow fake karate on the dance floor, stoned off his ass. My mother got her perfect day and spent the last few weeks showing the wedding album to any nurse who would let her and bless them, they let her, even after she lost all her English and they couldn't understand what she said. Nurses are amazing. My husband and I survived and are very happy today. I'm so glad it had a happy ending and that the bride didn't really realize everything that was going on at her wedding. She clearly has some amazing people in her life that really went out of their way to make sure that the bride had an amazing day. And can I just say that I'm pretty sure that I obliterated some of those words. So my apologies if that offended anyone, but I tried my best. Your wedding needs to be a Hallmark original movie. Thanks to all things holy for those three amazing women in your life. I feel like you need to ask if they will start their own Just No Mother-in-Law wedding services. The best way to make father-in-law drool at the wedding coming down the aisle is to change the contents of the dress book themed wedding and a handmade chupa plus a trio of badass women guardians this wedding was epic i'm sorry about your mum, but what a gift you gave her i once had to look after 15 six to eight year old children for three hours and it was less exhausting than your mother-in-law sounds and this, my friends, is how you friend. I have four friends from childhood who would do the same for me if necessary. Awesome to have them. Glad you have your posse. So really love to hear if any of you guys have any similar stories or anything crazy that went down at your wedding. Mine was only a small one, which is what I wanted. And it was pretty much uneventful. But let me know what you think on today's story. If you did like it, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I will see you all very soon.